In this lesson, we're going to learn about the life cycle of a resource. What causes a resource to be created? When does it get initialized? Let's learn about that. Okay, now what I have here is a copy of the first project. I've named it Advanced Jaxr 02. It's just exactly the same as Advanced Jaxr 01, just a name change. Uh, if I run this, I should be able to get to the exact same location, so everything is the same. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make a change to the resource, right? We have this my resource class, which has a slash test map to a unhardcoded string value. Now in this resource class, what I'm gonna do is add a member variable. I'm gonna call it a private I'm creating a variable called count. And now in the test method, the method that maps to the slash test, uh, this is the rest API, I'm going to do a count equals count plus one, right? And uh, here, I'm printing out the message with the count, right? I want to I want to return back in the response how many times this method was called. Okay, so I'm having a local variable, a, mem a member variable called count, and every time there is a call to the API, I increment it, and then I return how many times this was called. Okay, now let's access this. This was called one time. Okay, great. Now what happens if I access this again? Any guesses? Still one. No matter how many times I click this, how many times I access this, it's always gonna return one. And what's happening here? What's happening here is this is being reset to zero every time and incrementing it to one returns in this being shown as one all the time. Why is this being reset to zero? It's because every time you make this API request, JaxRS is creating a new instance of this my resource class. Okay, so it never shares the same instance. Every request results in a new instance. Okay, this happens to be the default behavior of resources in JaxRS. They are said to be request scoped, which means the scope of a resource instance is about the request. So there is a new instance that gets created for a request, and when that request is served, that instance is destroyed, okay? So if you make 10 requests to 10 different APIs, there are 10 resource instances that are created, and then immediately after those APIs are served, one by one, those instances get destroyed, okay? This is the default. But now what if you wanna change it? What if I wanna implement something like this? There's no way to do it now because you know, there's a new instance that gets created every time. I'm gonna to have to depend on another class and manage that life cycle over here. So I told you that, so this per request life cycle is the default, but it can be changed. You can also have what's called the singleton case. The singleton, it is what it sounds like. With singleton, you can configure a resource to be created just once, and then JaxRS holds on to that instance no matter how many times you make a request. And to make a resource a singleton, all you have to do is annotate it with at singleton. Now at singleton is from this package javax.inject. Now let me save this and wait for the application to redeploy. Let's try this again. I'm gonna make a call. It was called one time. Call again two times. So it's, you can see it's the same instance that's being held on. So if you make multiple requests, it gets incremented on the same instance of my resource. So the count keeps getting incremented every time. So these are the two types of resources when it comes to the life cycle. You can choose to create a resource to be the default per request resource, or you can make it a singleton. The default life cycle is every request results in a new instance of the resource class, and that instance gets destroyed when the, re when the request is served. And the singleton approach 
the singleton life cycle is one instance that gets held on jack saras holds on to that instance no matter how many times you make your request this of course gets destroyed when you end the server you do, you know you stop the server but uh, that's obvious as long as the server is running that instance stays